expecting to do another video so fast, but I got a surprise package with a bunch of goodies. Um, so I'm doing a haul video and kind of a review for the stuff that I've tried, but I just got this stuff this morning, so, or rather this afternoon. It was morning for me, so I haven't tried a lot of it yet. Um, so a while ago when I ordered my foundation from the All Natural Face, um, I got the liquid foundation and it's got some oils in it. Um, and after, and the first day that I put it on, when I went to take it off, I had, um, a bunch of, uh, like, I had a breakout on my cheek, and I was super worried, and it was pretty bad, and it was red, and it was gross, and I was like, no, what the heck, this stuff's all natural, why is it messing up my, uh, my skin? And so I emailed Crystal, the lady who makes all the makeup, and she, and just asked if maybe I could switch it out for just, like, the powder mineral foundation, or something like that. Um, and I mentioned to her that I was using, um, a prescription treatment from the doctor. It's, uh, 5% benzoyl peroxide, which is a lot, and, um, um, erythromycin, which is, like, an antibiotic. And then I was also, the only moisturizer I had was the proactive repairing lotion, which has, uh, like, 2% benzoyl peroxide, so that's a crap ton of drying agents that I had on my face. I um, mean, she mentioned that, well, maybe it's, it could be the fact that you're putting the proactive moisturizer on right before you're putting the makeup on because there's nothing really in the makeup that should cause a whole bunch of acne problems. There's not a whole lot in there. Um, and when I looked up the ingredients, like there's jojoba oil in that, and a lot of times that's used as a moisturizer for people on acne regimens, so definitely couldn't have just been the foundation. Um, and she offered, instead of sending me um, some mineral found foundation because I really like liquid foundation. She offered instead to send me a whole crap ton of uh, acne um, uh, products um, that she has on her website. She has got a whole like ridiculous amount of different stuff that you can use um, and she sent me quite a bit and it's all like pretty, um, it's either I've got two full size products and four close to full size products so it's pretty awesome and I got it all for free um, so that was really amazing. Anyone who treats their customers like that is makes me want to buy their stuff. So anyway, I will get to it. I'll start with the stuff that I've just I haven't tried yet, but that I'm really excited to try and smells really good. Um, the first thing we have is uh, the All Natural Face Face Food Fruit Facial um, in strawberries and cream, and this is interesting. So it looks really tiny, and it just has and it you know, looks like that on the inside. Um, and so it looks really small, and like, oh my god, that lasts you like a day and a half. But actually what, what you do is just take a teeny little, like, um, there was a scoop that came with it, but I don't have it. Um, like a little scoop of powder and put it in your hand with two little scoops of water. Um, and you put it on like a mask. So this actually lasts like a really long, long time because you're mixing it with water in your hand or like in a little cup. Hold on. Sorry about that. Um... And this smells delicious. It smells, it's just basically, I think it's just like dried, it's just dried strawberries and coconut milk is it. That's, that's, that's all that's in here. And so that's really awesome. There's nothing in there that I don't understand or that I have to look up because I'm worried it's going to like destroy my skin. Um, next we've got two masks that look really awesome. They smell so good. Um, we've got the, so the soothing and healing clay mask. Um, it's got bentonite clay, lavender, calendula, elderflower, rose, and green tea. And you can really smell the green tea. It's really just like nice and fresh and minty. So I'm really excited to try this out. I think it's the same thing, just like a couple little scoops of powder and some water and just like let it sit on your face for like 15 minutes or so. Um, and then you have the French green clay acne mask, which I'm also really excited to try. Um, it smells kind of more minty and it's really nice. Um, it should... I think it'll work out really, really well. I haven't done masks in like a really long time, so I think that'll be that'll be a fun experience. Um, okay, so on to stuff that I tried this morning. Um, this is the face food face, facial wash in aloe and cucumber. It's the full size one, so it's a little bigger. Um, there's an accidental price tag on there, so I think it normally runs for seven fifty, and I got it for free. Um, and I'm not even. Didn't, I didn't tell her I was going to review any of these or anything. 
Um, this is probably the only one that smells a little funky. It doesn't smell like I thought aloe and cucumber would, but it doesn't smell horrible at all. Um, kind of closer to the thing that popped into my head was actually my mom ha my my mom has a horse and she makes like a vi like a vitamin supplement for her horse, and it smelled kind of like that. Um, so kind of like horse food, <laughs> which isn't a really bad thing. It just that's I don't have a better way of explaining that. Um, but it, I used it and I did, you know, the spoonful in the water thing and put it on my face and let it sit for like just like a minute and then got in the shower and washed it off in there. And my skin just felt really clean. It didn't feel too dry and it felt really soft. It, it, it was really nice. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, currently, I'll grab it. I've been using this stuff, which is from Bath and Body Works. It's Patricia Wexler MD Acne Scription Exfoliating Cleanser, um, and it's got it's got salicylic acid, which actually strawberries apparently naturally have sal have salicylic acid, which is really cool. And this stuff is working okay, but it's it's it, it's an exfol an exfoliator, so it's kind of rough to use every day. It's really really good for like if you have acne on your back or on your chest, you use it in the shower. It's really nice. But I'm kind of excited to try some gentler stuff. Um, and so, and this stuff, um, I, my, fa my face still felt really clean um, and kind of exfoliated, but not dry or, like, painful or itchy. I definitely kind of get itchy after I exfoliate. Um, and then the second to last thing is this non-alcohol to toner for acne and oily skin. This was really, really nice. Um, I've used the pro, uh, the proactive toner in the past, and it's just like it really strips my skin of all the oils, which you would think is a good thing. But actually, when you strip your skin of too of too much of its of its natural oils, you actually break out more, which is what happened when I had too much benzoyl peroxide on my skin. Um, and this just like it was my skin definitely felt clean and kind of tight and kind of dry, but not like. Um, uh, not like when I used the pro the proactive stuff, and it was just like, ugh, this does not feel very nice, and I had to put lotion on. Like, I felt fine. Um, so you can put this on, like, after the face food, or she said you can pretty much use it as often as you want. I'll probably just use it, you know, maybe once or twice a day. Um, and last but not least is the Organic Pure Virgin Coconut Body Oil. And all this is is pure coconut oil, which... I didn't think was all that special until I read all this stuff about it. Apparently, apparently co uh, coconut oil is really good for a lot of things, and it's a really awesome face moisturizer. Now, when you have acne, putting oil on your skin sounds like a really bad idea because you're like, isn't that what is making my acne really bad? But it's actually, coconut oil is a really, really good moisturizer for under, for under makeup and after doing a lot of things that really dry out your skin. You should be moisturizing twice a day if you're using an acne treatment twice a day. Um, and... My skin feels, I used it today, um, I think I used a little too much, you can see I'm a little shiny, um, and that's after, um, and I put some se some setting powder to take, some, to take some of that away, but so, I'm a little shiny because I used a little bit much of it, um, what I'm going to do is just like, uh, what you do, um, it looks like this, I put it in the fridge because it was like so, li so liquidy that I'd touch the bottle and it'd get on, it'd get on my fingers, and it was, so it was just a little messy. Um, so what you do is, you know, you let, you let it sit out for, like, a few minutes, and it'll just liquefy really, really quick. Um, and you put some in the, in the lid and take, like, a cotton ball and put it on your face. And that was, my skin is super soft, and it smells, you know, it's coconut oil. It smells so good. Just, like, I, I almost want to eat, like, eat it more than I want to wear it. Um, and so that's pretty much everything I'm really excited to use, to use all this stuff. All of it's vegan and completely all natural. I think a lot of it's organic. Um, and which is really hard to find, especially at a cheap price. Um, and all this stuff, like I said, like for the full, for the full size, it's only seven, seven fifty, and this should last quite a while, um, because you mix it with water. Um, and all her stuff is a really great deal. I'll post a link to her site down below. Um, and if you guys have, I have like, you know, tons of her, eye, of her eyeshadow samples, if you want to see swatches, or anything like that, I can do that too. Um, and anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope to maybe in a few weeks do a, do a review and show how my skin's gotten better. Hopefully it gets better. Um, and 
maybe you guys will switch from whatever chemical stuff you, you're, you're using to something more gentle and something, you know, that's from stuff just already there on the earth. Um, Alright, so thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.